In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, an assembly drawing like this one with SolidWorks. Um, in another video, I showed you where I downloaded this file. It's from GrabCat, and if you want to see how I downloaded it, then I suggest you look at look at this movie, SolidWorks 2D Drawings. There, I show you how you can easily download files from GrabCat. So, I'm not going to show it again because otherwise every movie will become the same. Uh, here I've got my model open. Let me see. And it's a an engine for a lawnmower. Here I've got the website of the the producers of this engine. So it's a, an engine for a lawnmower. And now I'm gonna create a 2D drawing of this. So I'll just choose File, Make Drawing from Assembly. Then again, SolidWorks asks me, you already have a, a drawing with this name. Do you want to open that? No, because I want to create a new one, a new drawing. So here I've got different templates with different sizes. In this case, I'm going to have a quite large bill of material, so I'll choose the, the A0 size. So I'll have to use the plotter to plot this file. But it doesn't matter in this case. So I'm going to place a couple of views of this engine on the drawing paper. Like that and with the A0 size I've got enough space to place my drawing views and then usually this isometric view will choose another another way of showing the view so I want to use the shaded with edges that looks nice on a 2D drawing like that so you can you can easily see get a, a preview of the actual engine and this was my first view so if I move that all the other views will move along with it and the, the other views will stay horizontal to the first one or vertical. If you want to break that, here you've got the, the alignment and you can break the alignment so you can move the views just like you want to. So now I'm going to create a bill of material. You can do it in several ways, but I usually prefer the right mouse button and then table bill of material. Where is it here? Then I've got different choices. Top level only when you've got sub assemblies. This depends whether or not the sub assemblies will be split into the bill of material. So you can experiment that a little, but now I'm going to just use this top level only one. So I'll only see the top level, not the whole sub assembly with all the components that are lying on it. Now I've got some standard uh, tables here, some standard table row. I can insert rows if I want to with other information. Like for example, the material that the, the parts are made from. Let me see if I can uh, choose for that one. Let me see. Uh, let's just insert another column. Here I've got the option custom property and see if there's material defined in this part. No. If there was, if the, the creator of all these parts would have. Uh, enter the material then we would have now seen it so I'm just gonna leave, delete this column and if the, oh, here here we've got one part is made from bronze so one part has been set up with bronze if I want to see which part that is I should go here push this one and I can get a preview of this part All right, here see I see it's a simple part that's created from bronze Anyway, switch this off again, and now I want to enter the numbers of the parts in this view. So I'll use the auto ballooning option, and then SolidWorks will auto balloon this view. So the view that you choose will determine where the balloons will be placed, and then you've got magnetic lines that you see over here. It's a bit heavy for the computer now. You've got mag magnetic lines that I can just move. Let me see. Yeah. Mm, it doesn't really move right now. I think it's uh, too many balloons at this point for the computer. Usually it moves quite nice. So then, but if you've. Uh, maybe I can select, yeah, I can select it now. You see, it moves all the arrows and it will not. Uh, Oh, it will actually cross these lines, but that's the thing that you don't want to have. The first placement SolidWorks will not cross these lines, so you can easily move these balloons around. And if you want to equally space them, there's a, a nice tool, it's the alignment tool. 
For example, this balloon is spaced a little bit further from the other balloons. What you can just do then, which is convenient, is select all the balloons and then choose space evenly down. So that uh, this looks a bit better than it, it did just now. So it's uh, just uh, the, the start of an assembly drawing. Of course, you can create section views, etc. But this is just the first impression of what you can do with a, a, an assembly drawing. Usually in an assembly drawing, you don't place any dimensions and also no cosmetic threads. That's according to the, the at least the DIN norm. And I think, uh, I presume all the other norms will have the same setup. So that, that was it for now. Thanks for watching.